welcome back to the basement of the friendliest place on YouTube. It is time to visit another labyrinth. We haven't done one of those in a while and get some more barbarian armor. And then from there, we'll be hoofing it through the desert, uh, looking for a certain hideout of a clan, if you know what I mean. All right, on our way to the Yiga clan. Yeah, you got, oh, hey, you should unlock that shrine on the way. I think I very well will. Might, um, will, and did. Yeah, you guys have been bugging us and bugging us and bugging us to go out to the clan in the desert and uh, we're excited to do we're all that. That's going to be like our next big fun adventure thing. Although, uh, we'll have to see how long it takes us to get there. Yeah, because <laughs> we're going to have to. I'm wondering, I don't think you need to talk to um, the, the the princess to find out that the Thunderhelm's missing. I bet we could do this before we even talk to her. We'd be like, yo, we found your Thunderhelm. She's like, what? Yeah. Oh, snap! So we should do that since we're doing things out of order anyway. Right. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can make that happen. Yeah, I love doing the side quests and then talking to the people that unlock the side quests. And they're, and they're like, like, please help us find the thing. And then they're like, we're so glad you <laughs> helped us find the thing. <laughs> I found a funny thing, and I think we're going to have to do it for a funny moments here soon. But um, right near Hateno Village, there are people who are looking for truffles. And they're like digging mm. in the in the ground yep. trying to find truffles. Yeah, like two sisters that are and it's yeah. dangerous and they're out there at night. Yeah, and they're like getting like attacked by bull goblins and stuff. Well, you can drop a truffle right in front of their face and they will still be looking for truffles. And they'll they'll just not pick it up. That's pretty funny. It's great. It's I mean like, that makes sense. Dude, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> yes. At least pick it up. There are five of them on the ground. <laughs> I just figured if I was trying to give them a truffle, they'd be like, Oh thank you, and then I'd get like rupees or something. But no. Yeah. They didn't. They did not that. Basement Dollars, do you want us to uh, unlock more fairies and upgrade our outfits and get set bonuses and stuff? Because I sure hope they we've want got us the to. whole climbing set, which is great. Look at Link go, but we can't get the low stamina consuming jump. Yeah. Until we uh, like upgrade twice or whatever it is. And so if you want us to do that, uh, please comment below so that we can do it because we want to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want <laughs> that to would do really it help so us so badly. Oh, man, I love these little bridgeway things aren't they cool i would i would want i would walk a path like this in real life i would not yeah i hate heights yeah actually i don't mind them so much it's just the thought of falling from them that bugs me <laughs> well uh, uh i think a lot of people are a little afraid of heights and that's just healthy i think we've talked about this before too like yeah. sometimes people some fears are just phobia, good for you <laughs> but it's not irrational to be afraid of heights yeah it's not irrational to be afraid of clowns they're always murderers everybody knows this <laughs> every clown if you're a clown in uh in the basement go ahead and leave a comment below about how you murdered somebody because we know that that happened basement dollars for those of you <laughs> who don't know uh ted married a clown <laughs> <laughs> i actually did <laughs> She has pictures of her being a clown. Remember when you and went she up? She can do uh, balloon animals. D try to go up the wrong side of the ladder. I, I like do remember that. That was just that just exactly happened. Well, look at it. Yeah, no. Have it you is. ever climbed on a ladder that had this side as the back? No. Well, yeah. That. Come on, camera. Just work with me here. Just climb the ladder. Okay, I'm just trying to prove a point. You could say this side as the front. What was that noise? That was the cold resistance wearing oh. off. Oh, come on. Now I got to go around here. They put those helpful little foot pat mat blat things there. Oh, dude, this guy's asking for it. Yes, he is. Sneak attack. I love that the outfits like have different things, but it is kind of funny to consider Link just changing outfits constantly. I think you're holding a torch. Do you want to sneak attack him with something else? Yes. Or sneak strike with something else. Sure do. How about this? That'll do. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna do them in. Wearing our favorite outfit now. Our new favorite outfit. <laughs> See ya. Forget about it. Adios. All right, back on our path to go get the clan. Yes. And or the labyrinth nearby. You guys have been asking for the labyrinth quite a bit, too. Let's we did see. one of them. Which the one did we do? The labyrinth is, like, here, right? Yeah, well, further south, I think, than that a little bit. It's in that general vicinity, though. It's in that direction, yeah. All right. Um, Which is the labyrinth that we already did? Oh, the one with the medallion below it. Well, I suppose, I suppose we know, because we have the barbarian helm, right? What you looking for? 
I'm trying to burn this grass so I can potentially... <laughs> yes. Um, float. But no, it's just dead grass. It won't burn. <laughs> so sad. Ooh. Well, unlike real life, kids, don't try burning dead grass at home. It will burn. <laughs> you gonna take out that whiz? I want to, yeah. Oh, man. So much easier with it, these things in the correct hand. <laughs> yeah, that was quite the challenge you overcame a couple of videos ago when you... Well, there go our ice arrows. There goes that guy, though. Yeah, that's <gasps> true. Did you not? Oh, good. I'm gonna use... I'm gonna get... I'm gonna pick that up, because it's gonna be way more helpful than a stupid torch. Than a stupid torch. Get out of here. I remember when torch was like, sign my yearbook, and I was like, no. I hope you have that a bad summer. That helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a bad summer, Torch. <laughs> <laughs> Call me sometime. Write down the teacher's number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this Bobby McGoo? No, this is the gym teacher. Oh, my name's Torch. I it, just wanted friends. If you were a gym, if you're a high school gym teacher, or a middle school gym teacher, why well, did that, you? Why did you do that? Do you think it was on purpose, Peter? Oh, I thought it was. I was trying to do that. You can regain your stamina. But it's so unnecessary. That. Okay, yeah, so if I you're was a, totally fine on stamina. If you're a gym teacher, do yep. you refer to yourself as quote the gym teacher during the summer? Hmm. Probably not. Here's another question. If you're a science teacher, do you sleep in a coffin all summer? The answer is yes. Because you're a a vampire? No, <laughs> because I don't know. Teachers don't exist as humans, right? Like, oh, as yeah. a kid, that's what I sort of thought. I can remember a really unnerving experience of just running into a teacher of mine grocery shopping. Mm. I was like tagging along with a parent or something while they were grocery shopping, and I was a kid. Yeah, and, and it was like, summer. Huh. Yeah, and there was, it was just like. <laughs> I remember that feeling. Mrs. White? I mean. Darlene, because <laughs> you can call them by their first name in summer vacation. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, except I never did. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't think I could call them by their first name. Do you, uh, basement dwellers. And should I just keep going? Kind of, yeah. When you were a kid, and that also includes if you were currently a kid, do you call uh, adults, or did you call adults by their first name? Or were your parents super strict and were like, no, you must call them by Mister? Whatever, because that's what I do to my kids. There's a lot of, <laughs> well, yeah, there's a lot of, like, difference of opinion on that stuff, though. It's really interesting. Like, I don't know if it's all generational or cultural or, like, the generations are a little different yeah. in one part of the country than they are in another. But, like, like we've encouraged our kids to call them by their first name, but to put Mr. or Miss in front of it. That's right. That's what we do, too. So, like, Mr. Steve or Miss Jenny. Instead, Instead of, of like Mr. Anderson, right? Like their last name. Bleefold. <laughs> Bleefold. Mr. Winnipesaukee. Yeah, see, that's the thing is we last names are kind of weird sometimes, too. That's but some true. people have a problem with Mr. Like, Wiener. <laughs> Mr. First Name or Miss First Name. It's Weiner. And oh. they, <laughs> they find that really disrespectful, and I, I just don't get that. Well, like, if, if a kid called me Mr. Peter, I would say, oh, what a oh, good kid. What a, yeah, that kid's very respectful. But if it, what We're gonna run what I don't like is when a kid wants something and they don't ask, or they just mm, tell. They just say like, "I want, give me water." Yeah. Or I want water. It's like good for you. Hey, I want water now. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay, good for you. Yeah, it's a hard life, kid. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? I'm thirsty too. <laughs> What's your problem? Uh, it's this direction, I think. Still, yeah. Yes. Yes, and more that way. We will find the maze, and we will do the maze. Well, are, are we gonna... Or is that, will that be... Oh, is that a walker? I think it's a dead one. Oh. Uh, what should we do first? The maze of the Yiga clan? We should probably do the maze so we get another barbarian something. And up yeah, our attack power. I agree. Let's do that. Because the maze is right over here. I think. Where's the third one? The first one we did is in the way northeast, and it's yeah, like yeah. We did an the island, top corner. Right? We had to fly out there. This oh, one's there it is. here, and the other one's in the top northwest. Is it's it like a big triangle? Yeah, it's in the up near the Hebra region. Hebra, and, and it, that's also where this Stalhorse 
any three points that aren't in a straight line are a triangle. <laughs> what I meant was... A big a, triangle? A big, <laughs> relatively isosceles or equilateral looking triangle. Oh. It's Zelda. What kind of mm. triangles are there in Zelda? Equilateral. Dur. Uh, well, oh, when sweet. I'm attacking an enemy that's not right in front of me, I might try... A new angle? An angle. <laughs> that was good. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. I remember this one being pretty quick and easy if you just stay on top and go in the right place. But maybe I'm misremembering. Hey, how handy. One weapon breaks and another. They say when God this closes one's kinda a door, easy, but it's still... he opens a window. What? What? They don't say that, do they? Oh, to you who sets foot here, my blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. Why'd you my go name what? is you David go? Bowie. Why'd you go all the way to the bottom? <laughs> he just stood there and just took it in the face. Well, he was mad because you had his Well, I weapon. wanted to go down in here because the he, only way to actually do this... He needed to, to stomp his foot. Oh, I see. He didn't have the chance to do that animation where he took his weapon. He was like, oh, you took my... Mm, oh, I'm so... Ah, dead. Yep. Listen, kids, if you're in a fight to the death and someone takes your weapon, don't pout. You'll die. It's true. <laughs> That's the real lyrics to that Santa Claus song. You better not pout. You or better else not you'll die. die. <laughs> you better not pout. Santa Claus is real. He took he your bow, cobbling bat, and will kill you with it. <laughs> Wow, the friendly welcome back to the friendliest place on YouTube. Santa's now a bokoblin bat murderer. You know, he's a bat murderer. That, Whoa, that's good. That means you're getting closer. That's probably it. I'll bet if you. Oh, wow. nice. I'll bet if you climbed up and then got down behind those bars. Well, no, you can't just drop in. That's the thing with these mazes; they don't let you do that. I think this one you drop pretty close to. There's something about like, oh, what is it? Oh, I know what it is. You actually can drop in. No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. It's uh, it's one of those deals where you're up above and you look down and you see the goop and you're like, well, I can't go there. But there's like a jut into the wall above the goop. Oh, so one okay. way to do it is to find it from the ground and then jump onto the wall and shimmy sideways over the goop and then climb straight up. And that's but the other is to be on top and do. look down for the goop and then fall almost all the way down and float in. I think. I think you're right. And I think if I just find the goop that I was looking at over here. That might. Well, yeah, it's something like that. Hmm. Well, let's, let's climb. Try the other side. Let's, let's try climb. try looking at the other wall. Yeah, no, there doesn't seem to be one there either. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. I I'm wonder. Very hmm. angry. Hmm. I'm very distraught with curiosity. <laughs> Distrocity. Is that what Marvin the Martian says? <laughs> I don't know, but that does sound kind of <laughs> like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh well, basement dwellers, I got a question for you, and that is, what kind of shoes are you wearing today? I mean, I'm assuming you're not wearing shoes. Most people, well, I don't know. Maybe you're watching on your phone. And you're like out and about or whatever. But what kind of shoes were you wearing today? Are you wearing today, or will you wear today? That's a good Flip question. Tim. Sandals, flip flops, no mm. shoes, mm. socks. It, well, it um, is. Let's see. It's October 3rd as we record this, but it's not coming out until uh, the 10th. The 10th. So, yeah, probably not flip-flops unless you're in a really warm climate or maybe the southern hemisphere and it's spring. Uh, I'll bet our good friend um, uh, 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 Mr. A-Game might be wearing flip-flops in the spring. Yes. Eating yes, chips. Could be. Still single. Oh, is that it? Hmm. I see goop. Yeah, that was the goop that we just climbed up by. That's the goop you just saw. Yep. Which which corner? Okay, well the actual the actual shrine is right in the center here. Do in the ground. Do 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 but if you drop do do down in there, you can't get to it from there. Right. So I'm trying to remember which side. It's yeah, it's one of these one of these quadrants. Yep, you I know can, what you're talking about. You can, uh... There's goop there. Should oh, we drop down in this it. goop? Um... Hmm. This looks like there's a hole. Let's I, try I it. I got a good feeling about that goop. 
I got a good feeling about that goop. Well, we can try this. The music. So awesome. Yeah, my here. kids find these to be spooky. And yeah, I don't blame them. It's a spooky music. And you're all alone, too. Yeah, it does. It's a uh, it does a good job of making you feel ornery. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and say I like this spot. Yeah, that's uh, it's a curious one. Hmm. 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 Amazing. <laughs> There's those oh, bars. oh, on the other side of the bars. I think I made it past the bars. Yeah, something good's That's gonna be good around here somewhere. These holes hmm. in the ceiling are very intriguing. It'd be nice to have like a Splatoon gun so you could paint the areas that you've already been to. That, yeah. Because what's hard about this is you're not sure if you've already been. Oh, this looks promising. Yeah. If you've already been where you're looking. Huh. Well, we know that those are there. That's true. We do know that those are there. <laughs> those torches. Oh. Is this this can't be the same wall that we climbed before, but this this goo looks very similar. Well, if you've seen one goo, you've seen them all. That's true. I think that is the same goo. Ooh, a treasure chest. Yeah. What you gonna goo? What you gonna goo when you goo goo goo? Ooh. We're making some mad money on this uh, trip. It's true, although I can't find those torches that I said. Well, we know those are there. Are you looking for them? I'm trying to get back to them, yeah. It is. This is helping me understand in a, uh, mm, better that uh what you said in the last episode about like how i kept getting lost in the lost woods and you're like i don't know where it is and then you took the controllers and you're like right here and you and you found it's, the um, korok uh, mask yeah we there's for. something so tactile about maps it, it's it's even like watching this you'll turn a different way than i would to just explore and then to it try throws to you off right yeah and then it's like well now i'm lost because i could have kept track of going the way i would Oh, try going to the right, right there. All right, let's do it. Because you haven't been this way, I'm pr kind of sure. But maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it can't outsmart us forever. Maybe we're just in the wrong quadrant. It's very possible. I don't remember which quadrant has it. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of humming <laughs> happening in here. It's a it's it's one of those Tell you what Peter. How about this so that this doesn't take two episodes if I got to I'll just edit out some of the middle Perfect. Yeah, which I'll probably have to do Considering it's already 20 minutes and and, and I can help you pick out which parts to edit by saying really inappropriate things like <laughs> booger Oh no and uh, uh but Toot breath. <laughs> oh, toot breath. No, not the T word. Terrible. <laughs> T. That my parents would correct me if I said the dreaded F-A-R-T word. Oh, yeah? What did they make They'd you say, say? We say toot in this oh, house. Oh, toot? Oh, yeah. That's not as bad as mine. Would you have to say whiff? <laughs> Whiffle? No. Whiffle ball? Mine is by far way grosser than the word fart. <laughs> For real. Oh, there's a sword in that goo. <laughs> I, it's That's a, gotta be a hint. It's not a hint. It's just a sword in the goo. No, I think that, I think that's, well, what are you coming down here for? It was an accident. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, yeah, right there. That's this what is it, it is. This is it. The goo is a false roof. You can go under the goo. Oh, shoot! You're making some rookie mistakes here. It was an accident. I <laughs> fell down. You have a lot of accidents. Okay, do you want to hear what the weird word is that my parents would make me say instead of the fart word? Um... You're going to have to wait until next time in the basement. I'm just kidding. We'll do this. <laughs> um, my mom made me say potty pop. 
Ew! Yeah, that's way worse. Potty pop. Right, and this is a blessing. We're just gonna go in and get it. Because it, it's gonna take two seconds. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, potty pop. Think about that. Like, they, don't you just get, like, this idea of just, like, exploding poo in your pants? Just potty pop. Exploding pee. Oh, ow. Yeah. That sounds painful. Like a pee bubble. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> uh, to you who sets foot in the shrine, you did it. <laughs> Good job. Have a, have a, uh... Inappropriate barbarian shorts. Oh, no, oh it's the shirt. I wanted the shorts. The shirt is really cool, though. We could wear that shirt with like the tingle hat and no pants. And that'd be funny. <laughs> that would be pretty great. I also collected uh, ten arrows. Nice shot, <laughs> dude. You seem to forget how amazing I am. Oh, that was really good. No, I know it was a pretty good shot. <laughs> it was, it's not the normal awesomeness level that I have. Well. Uh, at least it was captured on video so that you can show the whole world that you had an amazing arrow shot in Breath of the Wild. So this is kind of a little trick here. This is what I was trying to do before, but the walls were just too sheer. If you can climb about this fast, you can also basically run up the walls. That's cool. And you can walk up them as well. Pro tips in the basement. This is how you uh, get up a steep but not quite sheer cliff. Look at that. Wasn't that amazing? That wasn't was that amazing. just wasn't that just beautiful, everybody? Look at that fat, stupid tree. <laughs> I'm just a growing here. Don't bother, don't bother me. I'm just eating all of the nutrients right out of the sky. <laughs> it's like this. I've been here for 300 years, and this is what I have to show for it. Ooh! Just one of those like. It's a tower of power. Yeah. Best way to get to that is definitely from above. I just I thought we were so much closer. This is taking a very very long time. There's so to much get climbing here to there. Okay, I see the opening over there. This is it. This is the clan. This is the hideout. The temperature is getting very high. Uh oh. Now I'm in the shade. I'm fine. Oh, is that really? Yeah. The key. Well, I mean, it is enough. See, we're we're gonna be bypassing some of the. Uh, Wait, go in the sun for a sec. I want to watch the temperature gauge. Whoa. Yep. That's just enough. That's amazing. To cool you down. Huh. Okie dokie. So, um, here we go. The opening to the Iga Clan sort of entrance area is down to the left there. Oh, man. Are we going to be able to do this on three hearts without doing any sort of, like, meal prep <laughs> first? Yeah, you don't have to fight anybody. Yeah, that's true. You just got to be, you got to be good at sneaking. Because you can't fight anybody. If you try, it doesn't work. I don't actually. I've never tried it, like being um, upgraded. So maybe you could go in there and just kill all those dudes. But I feel like they are super powered. I well versions of those dudes. I got there maybe probably later in the game than you did. Um, and I had some success fighting. I just I didn't get all the way through. All right, we have arrived by the five fabled frog head statues of the Yiga clan entrance. That's right. We're right uh, near the bottom of the valley that sort of leads up. You can see the clothes hanging on the clotheslines up there. And we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be on our way. It's going to be fun. Um, so stay tuned for uh, the next episode when we go into the clan hideout Woo! and uh, we try to take them out. That'll be a lot of fun. And leave comments for us uh, below in the video. Let us know what you want to do after that. Uh, and we'll go do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And until next time, Basement Dwellers, uh, we think that you are more delicious than... A uh, sock full of candy in the in basement. In the basement? <laughs>